Hey guys, this is JL. I hope you're doing well today. So here we are in game of Shark's Tundra. Um, and a while back, not too long ago, one of my, in another game actually, in another game, one of my sims was abducted. A male, he was abducted and he was impregnated and he had a little, gave birth to a little boy. And I thought, oh, interesting. I could add aliens to Shark's Tundra. So here's what I what I what I'm doing basically is I'm adding that family into this game. And then I'm going to uh, borrow the little hybrid toddler and use his genetics. <laughs> Okay, so here's the family, and here's the little half-human, half-alien. His name is Rednass. And you can see it's a full family. I actually um, had to give away a couple puppies and um, because they, they will breed if you don't play with them for a while. <laughs> So I really only wanted to have, I think it was two dogs in the family, I ended up with what, four? Yeah. I wanted to have Lawrence, Henry, and Darla, but apparently they had two puppies or something like that. Anyway, so we're going to take Red Nass and put him in create a household <laughs> and experiment on him. <laughs> Because you know how I like my supernatural. I like fairies. I like fairies and genies. Don't really. I'm kind of. Witches are boring. Werewolves, frankly, scare me. <laughs> um, vampires, kind of boring, too. They're all kind of negative, except really for the fairies. So. I just like the fairies, but I'm getting bored with fairies. So I thought. How about breeding a fairy with an alien? And so then you could have a phalian. <laughs> but so I was a little disappointed to see that Red, Red Naz registers as a human. So he's half human, half alien. And I guess the aliens, well, he doesn't, he, since he's considered human in this game, he doesn't have any powers like in Sims 4. But, um,. What I really need to do then is add an, a pure blood alien to one of my families and then take the alien and do what I'm doing here. And I wonder if he would register as a human or not, or if I could even take him in to create a household. So that'll be the next experiment. But right now I'm just trying to, I'm checking out to see what I've got looking at him in all the different life stages and everything. So I'm going to do him all life stages and both genders and I'm going to save them all to my bin <clears throat> so that I will have a stock of alien, a stock of um, phalians to work with. Well, human phalians. <laughs> human phalians. <laughs> okay, so let's see. So I'm saving the different, I'm doing my saves to the bin right now. So yeah, there's him as a child. And of course I'll change his name and everything. There's the teenager. Young adult. This game is so much slower than four, but that's all right. <laughs> I'm not so fast myself. <laughs> We're both vintage since three and I. <laughs> okay. A young adult. He looks so tall. I did make his father tall, so that must be why. <clears throat> so I'm going to give, I'm going 
it up. Select him as the father and then we'll need to make a wife for him and then they'll have their progeny. And then we'll put them in the game. But that'll be for another video, putting, putting them in the game. And I'll have to find a, a pure blood alien. So I'm abducting aliens instead of them abducting me. Haha, -ha. turnabout is fair play. So there he is as an elder. Now I think we go female. Here's a female alien human hybrid. Save to Din. Okay, so now I'm getting pretty well stocked up on hybrids. So I will have them as templates when I want to make a, a half, when, when I want to have a, a hybrid family. I'll have my templates ready to go. Because they're kind of, um, I wasn't quite sure how to make one from scratch. Not like in Sims 4 where you can just say create alien. They're not included. In Sims 3, they're not included in the Supernatural. It's like with ghosts. Ghosts in Sims 4 is like aliens in Sims 3. You have to get them through gameplay. Ooh, which reminds me, I should probably stock up on unicorn. <laughs> yeah! I have a unicorn template. Ooh, good idea. But they're not easy to come by either and you can't convert a horse into a unicorn in Sims 3. You gotta get them through gameplay. Which is wait until 3 or 4 in the morning and then from map view look for sort of an aurora borealis and, that, and then the unicorn will be there and then you add them to family. That's how you do it. That's how I do it. I think there are other ways but that's, what I, that's the one I know that works for sure. <coughs> Got my theme song stuck in my head. Cafe con leche. Da 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 Save this is just gonna mess everything up. And he's back safe and sound next to his brother and the dog. I believe that's Lawrence Henry, and there's his dad, and the dog just went weird. Okay, now we're back and let the experiment begin. <laughs> okay. So that ignore that pink sim. I'm not sure what I was doing exactly there. But I think I've made him the height I want him to be and everything. And I'm gonna have to, excuse me, rename him. And there you see all the ones I saved to the bin. And I'm trying to find his wife, who will be a fairy. And it's kind of hard to tell their ages here. If you look at the aliens. But there you see 
Man of Melon, up in the upper right, upper left corner. I recognize all these faces. We've got Man of Melon in the very top upper left, and then um, Daryl Fenton and the, the boy with the elf with the blue hair there next to it. And then there's an alien girl, second row, alien, alien. And there's Daphne Bowie. And then below that is uh, <laughs> I think that's David Cassidy. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure who that is, bottom row center. Okay, now, okay, more familiar faces. These are all my custom sims here. There's Mindy Peppermint with the pink hair. There's lots of versions of me. <laughs> oh, there's Clem Burley. Barry Mallow's in here, Barry Gibb. There's my dog, Darla. Oh, there's Nicodemus Castadet with the turban on. Lots, there's several Nana Melons. There's another Nana. Okay, I was looking for a fairy. I didn't want to have to make another fairy. I see Rainy Bowie with the ponytails. I was looking for Stacy Fenton, but I see her mother there. I like the, the that white, very pale fairy. I really got to clean out my duplicates here. There's my grandmother. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I saw one I like there. And that's my grandmother to the left of her. <laughs> um, yeah, and her name at this point is Murma Snow, and she actually has I created three fairy sisters, and this one was um, very interested in the aquatic. It's like it wants to be a um, um, an angler, fishing, and all that. And I'll probably add that family, because they're, they're already in my library. Um, I'll probably add the family. So I need to make this version of her different, so I don't have two Mama Snows walking around. <laughs> so I decided I needed to change her hair a bit, and uh, I think I thinned her down some and changed, changed her name. Now we're going to play with genetics. Woo. So his name, his new name is George Celery, and her name is Crystal Celery. Crystal Celery. I, that doesn't sound very edible somehow. <laughs> a little crunchy. Is that like iceberg lettuce? Yeah, iceberg lettuce and crystal celery. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, so I'm just playing with the age of the child. Ultimately, I decide I want them to have six toddlers. Oh, a little work. But they make, they make pretty babies. They really do. So we end up with four girls and two boys. And some are, some have fairies, some are fairies and some are, um, alien looking humans. So here's the first, first little girl. Yeah, I haven't named him though. But the family's last name is Celery. Because, you know, they're aliens and they don't really understand about how to blend in as humans, so they think Celery must be a really common name, right? Sure. So, my aliens usually have strange food names like milk and water and bread and eggs. In this case, celery. <laughs> oh. It's kind of um, stolen from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, the way Ford Prefect named himself after a car. So, I got it from there. 
Okay, is this baby too? Yeah, okay, so I think we've got Grenadine and Emerald. No, Lindy. Lindy, Grenadine, and Emerald. These are the baby's names. She's getting deleted. Eat it. Yeah, George is nice and small now. That's good. That was confusing. I don't want, didn't want that other girl in my breeder stock. My jean pool. Okay, so we've got, I think, Lindy. Lindy Celery is the oldest. Then the next baby is Emerald, and the third one I think is Grenadine. And then there's two more girls, and the two youngest I think are boys. So Lindy, Lindy, Grenadine, Emerald. Okay, I haven't done the names yet. I'm just trying to remember off the top of my head. I'm not gonna do a family tree. I do family trees. I have a notebook of all my sin stuff, and I gotta write out a family tree for the celeries. I just love family trees. I just think that's so neat. Obviously, I love families in general. So it's hard for me to read. Okay, so we're up to the little boys. I think I'd go back and name them, but maybe I wasn't filming. So those all stay no names still. Okay. I can't remember if I filmed the part where I named them. There's a, parts that are a little bit redundant, but those are cute kids, you know? I mean, interesting color, but they're still pretty cute. So he's considered a human, but you can see the alien with the little tiny nose and everything. I think the boys are named, yeah, that's, I think that's, his name is Trumpeteer, and uh, his brother's name is Lance. And I forget who she is. She's exotic with the black hair. So as you can see, some have, they all have pointed ears. Um, various shades of green. She's not a, not a fairy. So that's Lindy. Um, no, I think, wait, are you Lindy? One of the little blonde girls is Lindy. She was the first, kind of the first born. Okay, there's mom again. I don't know if I showed her change, if I hadn't changed her up yet. I wanted to get the kids done first. So now I think I'm naming the kids, right? Yeah, I'm gonna name the kids. So, last name is Celery, C E L E R Y. And just off the top of my head, whatever comes to me, I just type in. And I get Lindy, Lindy Celery. Cute. And she's a fairy, as you can see by her wings. And I didn't even worry about the traits. It is totally randomized. It's just filming for you. I didn't have time for that. I would, this took forever. <laughs> you know, you know how it goes. This took hours to, to capture all the, the jiggery pokery of getting the, getting him in to create a household and blah blah blah. All for a 20 minute video. Why am I not doing anything? Oh, 
Okay, second one. Let's see if I got this right. Grenadine. And I don't know. I was thinking about Saint Saint Vincent and the Grenadines. <laughs> um, a grenadine is um what is it? A pear or a pomegranate? Something like that. It's, it's a type of um a fruit, I think. Fruit, yeah. A lime? Maybe it's lime. But you also think of grenade. So this would be uh, here. Can't read that. Oh, spearmint. Yeah, that's spearmint. Spearmint celery. <laughs> well, her color, her skin is spearmint colored, right? <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta save the bin. All these babies have to be saved to the bin. The bin, the bin, the bin. Save. I didn't save Grenadine. I think I'm not sure if I saved Lindy. Gotta save my work here. So this is basically what I what I spent hours on a couple days ago. Doing my uh, crossbreeding here. Really, what I need to do is create pure blood aliens with cross with pure fairy and see see if see if it's possible and see how they turn out. They're probably very similar to this though. But does an, abduct, an abducted alien brought in to create a household? What's it considered? Is it just called a human? We'll find out. I hope. I hope, I hope to find out. Okay, so this is Spearmint. Okay, alright. Oh, okay, Emerald is the one with the hat that we just had. I think that's Emerald. And this is either Lance or Trumpeteer. I know, weird names. They just pop into my head. Okay, this is Lance. That's easy. A Trumpeteer is cute. I like him. I like his light complexion. <laughs> So I'll have this out for you soon. I still need to do a little more editing. I need to find some music to run under this. Um, I don't think I'll need to do end credits because it's not a normal Shark's Tundra episode. Yeah, there's Trumpeteer. I like his skin tone. I like the way it kind of goes with his hair. He's a cute little guy. So I'm about at the end here. So thanks for hanging out with me, you guys. This has been JL. And I hope you're having a great time. Sending you love. Bye.